Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well and are staying safe. So for tonight's video, I wanted to try something that has really played a part in my life especially the last couple months and that has been mindfulness and meditation I generally use an app to help unwind and de-stress before going to bed and I have found that it is very helpful for me. So I wanted to try a brief relaxation, relaxation, relaxation meditation session tonight. As a quick disclaimer, I am not licensed to do any therapy lead meditation. I'm not a yoga instructor. I'm just using kind of techniques that I've noticed when I meditate and trying to recreate it as an amateur. So do not take anything I do too seriously. And with that being said, let's get ready to unwind and de-stress. So before we get started, make sure you are wearing something comfortable. You are seated in a comfortable, safe space. And you are free from distractions, lights, noise, things that will make you really focus and feel at ease right now. getting ready here. We're just going to take some introductory breaths. We're going to go in for four counts. We're going to hold for about four to five counts. And then release for about six. The numbers tend to vary depending on who you ask. But I like to do about four, five, six. So inhale, hold for five, and exhale. So let's ground ourselves by putting our hands on the floor, on your lap, somewhere where you can feel some structure and we're just gonna spend some time doing some breathing all right so I'm gonna close my eyes you are welcome to do whatever is most comfortable for you all right so we're gonna go in Think about 
anything that might be troubling you or stressing you out from the day or looking forward into the future. Simply breathe, hold, release, and focus your brain on the pattern of your breath. As you continue breathing, you may notice that you are feeling more sunk into the ground or you are grounding more as you focus on the breath. It is crazy what your brain tends to block out or not pay attention to when you focus your energy on one task. It can completely consume what you're doing and take away all your thoughts that aren't relevant or important. Keep breathing as we continue forward with some anti-stress techniques that I find to be very helpful. You don't have to focus as much on the counting, but maintain the breath and continue to be aware of your breathing as you sit here. Try to keep your hands and feet as still and quiet as you can. If you're focusing on your breathing or my voice, it shouldn't be too difficult hopefully, to let your body just stay still and not move. So one of the things that I like to do when I'm trying to de-stress and I'm using my mental awareness and meditation is I like to visualize a bunch of boxes in front of me. And these boxes can be any size, shape, color, texture that you want. Personally, I like to envision little white straw wicker baskets for myself, but everyone is different in their own minds and it is up to you to determine what baskets you want in front of you. Whatever pops into your head should suffice. Visualize any stress that you may have in your life at the moment. It can be health, financial burden, strain in a relationship, something at work, or something completely different. Whatever you're facing right now in life that may be troubling you, just briefly envision it. We 
don't want to dwell too much on what's stressing us, but briefly visualizing it can be helpful for this exercise. And what I want you to do now is I want you to take the stress that you're visualizing in front of you and I want you to put the stress in a box the boxes that we had envisioned before so just to share briefly to give you an idea I am currently having a lot of stress in my life due to some exams I have coming up and it can make it hard to enjoy the day enjoy life and really take time away from studying and exam prep so for me I'm putting all my test prep, all my notes, all my exams, my lectures, I'm putting it right now into a box. And I'm making sure that my box has a lid. Putting a lid on my box of stress and I'm putting it somewhere far away. For you it could be maybe under your bed if you visualize shoving into the corner of your closet or throwing it in the trash or simply sending it into a black abyss just somewhere out of your current mindset and presence where you don't have to think about it for the time being and while you continue to maintain your breath keep itemizing breaking up your stress and putting them into as many boxes as you may need. This visualization exercise may take different lengths and times depending on how much stress you're currently dealing with in your life someone may have one box shoved under their bed where another might have a whole warehouse full of boxes stacked either way there's no judgment as everyone is dealing with different things in life and different levels of stress so whatever stress you may have whether how big or small make sure to put it in a box and store it away for right now What we're going to do next that I also enjoy when I am trying to deal with stress and manage it is we're going to do a visualization exercise 
And what this does is it allows you to visualize a happy, stress-free time in your mind. We have eliminated the stress, hopefully from your brain at the time being. And now we wish to fill it with happy, non-stressful events, people, things, a memory. It truly can be whatever you wish. So, if you've done any shifting, I know I am going to stretch briefly before we move into the next exercise. But again, take the time to ground and center yourself. Try to focus if you can. I oftentimes struggle with staying still and focused, but if you don't need to adjust, stay where you are, maintain your breath, and come back to my voice. associated with it, take over your mind.
to let that memory float away. Just for now, as we come back. You can watch it float off gently, like a cloud, just drifting away until you need the memory again. And we're gonna make sure to go back to our breathing before we come back. Just focus on your breath. And as you breathe, start to bring your body back as well. Start wiggling your fingers and your toes. Maybe tilt your head back and forth. Do some shoulder rolls. Maybe pet a dog if there's one nearby. And just slowly pulling yourself back. And as you sit here for a moment, take a moment to think about how grateful you should be for a new day. As we breathe in the air, that keeps our lungs filled and us living life to the fullest. We can start to open our eyes and come back. <laughs>